Hello guys, welcome back to Chamber of Chess. Today I'm going to show you a study composed by Leopold Mitrofanov in 1967. And uh, this study is full of very nice and deep combinations, so not to overwhelm you too much, I'm going to go in detail over every variation. Here, it's a bit crazy position, since we got a rook and a bunch of pawns versus bishop, two knights, and a really, really strong pass pawn. So, we start with a check. Again, if we resort to another variation, g7 is just a check, and again, check, and it's pretty bad for white. Check, king a8. And here is the first beautiful move, rook e1. The point of this is to uh, sacrifice the rook temporarily in order to allow our pawns to get the stronger position. Let's consider variation with g7. In that case, queen and eventually the best white can hope for is a draw. Well, I mean, uh, obviously, uh, black is not going to win here because we have pawns, really strong pawns. But it's enough for black to just go for a perpetual. There are some other variations like king c5, which leads to the same thing, as well as king c4, queen c2, and uh, perpetual. Knight e1. In case of knight c4, check first, then king b5, and again... White has enough time to just promote the pawns, and one knight has no chance of holding all three pawns here. So the main variation is rookie one, knight e1, g7, queen, queen, knight c6, check. In case of other variations like knight b7, knight c5 here, and uh, Queen. So while analyzing this position, we can say that white pieces are very active, like queen, strong pawn, and king. Check, check, that's it. So king has no chance to fight against queen and the pawn on b6. That's why even in the game, it's always very useful to advance your pawns as far as possible, especially uh to the part of the board where there is king. Let's say if here, then b6 is strong. If here, we have to use our h-pawn. But b-pawn is better since it's covering two very important squares, as well as the pawn on d5 is covering c6, so we can give a check right here. That's it. Knight d7, and let's say knight d5, the queen, and say. Again, let's get, get back to main variation. Queen, bishop b8, a7, check. Just take it. Queen h4. Now it's the very one of the most beautiful moves in chess history. It's very logical and very mathematical move. Queen g5. The point is that here black has no more checks. Meanwhile, in case of king a6, just king e2 with a draw. So we need to make sure that even in this position where there are like only three pawns, we're still going for a sacrifice. That's it. And uh, black has no choice but to take it, otherwise there's going to be b7 checkmate. c7. Black, I mean, white even has time to threaten promotion at the same time, threatening b7 checkmate. And he just has to give it up. b7, that's it. Black is done here. And that was the study I uh, just uh, found the other day and really impressed me, especially the high level of uh, high quality of the combinations and these beautiful sacrifices on E1 and G5.
That's it, guys. Hope you enjoy it. Subscribe, like the video, and just write your comments. So it's interesting. We're going to analyze that. We're going to review, answering everybody. And for the next time, I'm going to prepare maybe one of the games. Or if you enjoy studies, I'm going to keep doing that. Thank you.